I've said more than once, the best thing about what I do are the people I meet. And last week, I met one of the most remarkable people I have ever met in my entire life, a true hero. Her name is Julie Aftab, and she's a Christian from Pakistan who, when she was 16 years old, had acid thrown in her face and on her body because they said that she blasphemed Muhammad when she rejected Islam. Later, she was tortured, shot at, her house burned, poisoned, and through it all, she maintains an optimism without hate, and yet she tells us what Islam is. She is a true hero. Here's the bad news. We have many heroes, none of them better than Julia as a hero, but the heroes are losing. You need to understand that. No matter what the heroes do, we will lose this war, civilizational war. The reason is this, the Muslims are organized and the apologists are organized. And an organization will beat an individual. So if you go to meetings and you get to hear speakers about Islam and you think, wow, they're incredible, they're great, think this also. We're losing and the heroes cannot save us. This is not like a western where the lone ranger can ride into town and save the town. Warriors do not beat armies. And we have armies, we have the Muslim Brotherhood on the Muslim side, but then we have organizations which are not Muslim but which are helping to defeat us in this civilizational war. An example of organized opposition to Julie is the family of Abraham, which is a religious dialogue group. Hundreds of people come together under the banner of we can all live together in a happy universe and we will not look at what Islam really is. Such organizations help to defeat our heroes. Another organization of apologists which is helping to defeat such people as Julie Aftab is the Religious Communicators Council, the RCC. These people are writers in the media who will never, ever tell the story of people like Julie Aftab, a persecuted Christian. She doesn't exist to them. She is dead to them. They're not going to talk about her. Then we come to the saddest thing of all, which are the churches. Nashville, Tennessee is called the buckle on the Bible belt. But let me assure you, if that phrase is true, the church's pants are down around its ankles. Because 95% of the churches, a rough estimate, don't care about Julie Aftab. They don't want to hear about Julie Aftab because they don't want to hear about persecuted Christians because they do not want to do anything about persecuted Christians. Go to a religious bookstore here in Nashville. You'll find no information about the persecution of the church. When Christians go to vote, in the last election, only a quarter of them voted. They're like, don't want to take part in civilization. Remember I told you that the nicest thing about what I do are the people I meet? I met a wonderful man from Nigeria. He's now a Christian, and he was a former Muslim. He's had three assassination attempts on his life. In spite of all that, a very cheerful fellow. He says, one of the things I like to tell Christians is, you have met nice Muslims, and so you think Islam is nice. But I tell you, in time, Islam will become stronger, and you will meet a different kind of Muslim. Here's the deal. The heroes cannot save our civilization. We need boots on the ground. And the best army to put boots on the ground is Christianity as a whole. Because the church, in abstract, is set up as a teaching institution. If they would only pay attention to the dead Christians from around the world, they would be able to know why these Christians are being killed and organized to oppose it. You see, organizations have political impact. Heroes do not. So what are we to do? Well, we need to stir the church, amongst other things. And to do that, I have a program called Voices for the Voiceless, which produce brochures which you can use to enlighten your own church. You need to talk with leaders and build a team within your own church to say, we must talk about the Julie Aftabs of the world. Now, some of you watching this are not Christian, and you're going, well, I don't like Christians anyway. Let me point out something to you. In a war, what you need are allies, not friends. You need allies. And you may not love your allies. As an example, in the Second World War, Churchill said, I have two big problems, both of them personal. One is Hitler, and the other is Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle was his ally. 
So he worked with him in spite of the fact he didn't really like the man. Now some of you who are watching this video will go, you know, all the religions are terrible. They're all equally bad. And this is definitely not true and I can prove it to you. The worst religion in the world in the 20th century was atheism. Atheist Pol Pot, atheist Mao Zedong, atheist Stalin, and atheist Hitler killed tens upon tens of millions. So don't tell me that all the religions are the same because the scoreboard in the 20th century is atheism was the worst. Here's the deal. Heroes cannot save us. Organizations can win the war for us. And one of the organizations we have to stir simply because they can put more boots on the ground than anybody else is the church. So think about what I've told you and realize you may love the heroes, but remember this, they cannot win this war for us. Thank you.